Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Welcome teacher. Back. Hello, teacher. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Glad to see you again. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready to start now. But before to start the class, I would like to know how was your weekend? Can you share with me? How was your weekend? Tell me. Did you enjoy it with your family? Do you travel to different places? Hello, are you there? Can you hear me? Hi. Claudia, Rachel. <laughs> Hi, well, my weekend was good. And yesterday, yesterday I got a wedding. So, <laughs> okay. so uh, I enjoy it. <laughs> okay, you enjoy it. Okay, remember that um, we need to have the camera on as part of your it's mandatory that you have your cameras on. Recuerden que al inicio que leímos eh, como las normas es, es una norma mantener la cámara encendida. De esa manera, eh, al momento que Insafor audita los vídeos, él puede corroborar que sí están ahí. Okay, in a minute. Excellent.
Okay, somebody else wants to talk about the weekend before we start talking about it. In, in my case, um, Saturday in the morning, I, I work, work. Okay. Uh, uh, in the afternoon, I sleep, <laughs> I slept. <laughs> <laughs> in uh, Sunday, I went, I went, I went to church, I went to supermarket, and I washed, uh, washed the clothes. Well, okay. yeah. It's better if you say, I went to the church. I went to the church. I went to the supermarket. Yeah. I went to. I went to. Oh, sorry. I went to the supermarket. I went to the church. Okay. And so on. Okay. Somebody else wants to talk about that? And. Um. And my teacher on Saturday, uh, we went shopping. Uh, my husband of uh, the supermarket, okay. and and <laughs> Domingo se me olvidó cómo dice. Is this uh, we enjoy it with my family? Okay. You forgot to say Sunday, right? Sunday. All right, thank you. Sunday. <laughs> okay, somebody else, somebody else before to check out the attendance antes de revisar la asistencia. Somebody else wants to talk about it? Just tell me, please. Um, in my case, I go to the market, supermarket and shopping someone shoes for my child. Ah. <laughs> okay, Maria Elena, if you are talking about the past, si estamos hablando del pasado, uh, you need to look for the past of the verb go. I went. When? I, I went to buy a new shoe, a pair of shoes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Thank you. And, and talking about that, uh, I send you a, a list of irregular verbs. Les envié una lista de verbos irregulares que siempre se las comparto. Ahí tienen hasta la pronunciación. Ahí les aparece el presente, el pasado y el participio que vamos a usar hoy. In the review that we are going to make about the topic that we have studied during the last uh, four days. But before I'm going to check up the attendance. Pero antes vamos a revisar la asistencia. I don't know why I got only just uh, six, 15 students. No sé por qué solamente tengo 15 hoy. I don't know, maybe there is a problem in the traffic or something like that. I'm not pretty sure. Ana Beatriz Campos de Guzmán. Yes, I'm teacher. Okay, welcome. Ana Lilian Reyes. No, no está. Eh, Bautista. Present teacher. Welcome, sir. Escobar. Good evening, present. Good evening, sir. Claudia Raquel. Present. Fra uh, Francis. Present teacher. Francis. Galileo Barrera. Ya me presentó Galileo. José Jonathan. Present. Jonathan is there. Um, Present, Mr. José Rodrigo. José Rodrigo. No, yet. Juan Carlos Rivas.
Juan Carlos Rivas. Están here. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Is there, okay. Lorena Beatriz Mansor. Lorena Beatriz. No. María Concepción. Present. Welcome. Uh, María Elena Guadalupe. Present. Mayra. Mayra. Not here. Miguel Ángel. Not here. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Welcome. Santos Misael Cañas. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Okay, Jenny. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. Yesenia. Yesenia. Diego. Present teacher. Brian Javier. I'm teacher present. Okay. Ooh. I got some people that are missing today. I don't know why. Okay. Let me see how many cameras I can count. Ana Beatriz. Maybe, I don't know if you have problem with your camera. Santos. Uh, Maria Concepcion. Wendy Maribel. Claudio Raquel. Okay, I already gave some time in order that the rest can connect. <clears throat> but it's not possible. <clears throat> Hold on, I need to drink a little water. Okay, here we go. Okay, today we are going to make a review about um, the different topic that we have studied during this uh, past uh, four days. And one of the topics that we are going to make a review today is going to be the present perfect because I need to be sure that all of you got a good information about it and that way we are going to continue producing new conversation okay Okay, hold on. I'm going to share with you the information that we need to practice.
Okay, but before to start with the review, uh, I would like you tell me something about the topic that we started the last class. What, can, what do you remember about it? Just tell me, please. We were talking about SWOT analysis. Okay, excellent. And what is the meaning of the acronym? The strength, weakness, uh, opportunities, threats. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Somebody else uh, wants to tell me when we can use a SWOT analysis. What is the use of strap analysis? Just tell me your ideas. And at the same time, uh, you are going to have the opportunity to share with us what you wrote in the last class. Do you remember the last activity? One opportunity for use is when you become um, a new product. Okay. When you want to launch a new product, excellent. Launch. Okay. I remember that I shared with you some slices about that, where we have some characteristic about every single letter. Do, what do you remember, for example, about the third one, about strength? What can you tell me about it? What, is, what, what does strength mean in a company or when we make an, a threat analysis? The strength of a company are the internal factors does a company in developing effectively. Ah, okay. What else? What else do you remember about it? Yeah, so it is a great um, advantage or disadvantage over the competitors. Advantage and disadvantage, okay. Then. I remember that I told you uh, to make a screenshot in order to remember all the words related with uh, each letter. I don't know if you did or not. But uh, you need to have very clear every stage of, of this uh, analysis. If you remember, only just two group uh, share what uh, they wrote in the last activity. I would like to give you the opportunity that the rest of the class can continue sharing uh, your ideas about any your product. I don't know if you want to share on a screen. I'm going to let you do it. Let me try to give you some. Okay, now you are able to do it if you want to share it. With me, you have the chance to create it in a in a better way. I don't know if you did. If you want to share it, just let me know. And you can explain it now because this is part of the review that we are going to make today. No? Anybody? Oh. 
I'm waiting. Do you remember what I'm talking about it? No? Maybe I need to show you the page in order that you can remember. Okay, I'm talking about this. I'm talking about this. This was the last activity, right? You design a new product service your company may launch to the market. And I remember that I asked you to write down some ideas. Only us two groups share the ideas. What about the rest? Now is the opportunity that you can do it. And in that way, we can uh, start making the review of a different topic that we already have started. We remember now. I haven't forgotten the activity. I still remember it. So please, I need that you share your ideas. But if you don't want to do it, okay. Let us continue then if you don't want to talk now. But remember, if you speak, you are going to increase your vocabulary. You are going to improve in speaking and in different aspects. Participation is really important in this process. But it's up to you if you don't want to do it. Hello. Hello. Teacher. Wendy. Um, do you do you want presentation new product or what? I don't know. No, it's up to you. If you have only just the ideas, you can tell me. You don't need to present anything. But uh, if, yeah, but but I want to product. I I um the group of oh, the product the new product uh, make the group. Yes. Yes. Ah. In my case, my group. Um, do dog food. The name product happy pet. Okay. Strain. Uh, flavor different flavor and vitamins. Okay. Vitamins. Vitamin. Uh, vitamin. Uh, vitamin. We. What? Vitamin. Vitamin. Okay. Vitamin. Weakness. Uh, only one presentation. Okay. Opp opportunities. Uh, prefer the customer prefer our product. Okay. And three many product in in the market. In the market. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good. But it's really important that you share your ideas, okay? Somebody else wants to talk about that? Hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, Maria Concepcion, tell me. En nuestro grupo falta Mayra y ella tiene la presentación, pero sabrá y que me puede dar. Ah, ok. Tiene ahí la presentación, Concepción. Pero no en la compu, no en el teléfono. Pero puedes hablar de las ideas principales que tienes. No necesariamente necesariamente mostrar. Okay. Um, okay, teacher, pero yo me tengo que salir porque tengo que buscar el archivo aquí porque no lo puedo compartir. 
Oh, okay, okay. Don't worry about it. Somebody else? In, with, with my team, uh, we created uh, the new company, McKenna's Motors. Oh, okay. Um, the stream are good quality, competitiveness, price is good, uh, product the same, and easy displacement. Okay. Um, weaknesses are more experienced, like off appropriate merchandise, product safety, and it's that without war experience. Opportunities, change in consumption habits, process of imports, increase the demand for the product competitors, exit from the market, variety of service, attract new customers, excellent client service, need to mobilize customers, trips, this is not a means of family transport. They are not a substitute means of transport for winter, personal security. Okay. High food price, high price of marshal, traffic accident, market competitions, disabled staff, lack of resources, company recommendation. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else? Alguien más? No? Okay, let us continue then. One of the topics that we are going to make a review is the present perfect. I know that you handle it, but uh, maybe you have some doubts. We are going to start uh, reading this conversation and later on we are going to practice. And then we are going to see some grammar points that uh, sometimes are kind of tricky or difficult for, for some. Okay, I invite you to read it and later on I'm going to read it for you and then you are going to practice. Pay attention about the uh, present perfect that we have there. And uh, later on we are going to explain how you are going to create negative, positive, and even question using the present perfect. That's, that is one of the topics that we need to make a review. I'm going to give you a same minute to read it.
Teacher, no sé si es mi audio, pero no le oigo. It is my audio. Okay. Yes. I need to fix on something here. Okay, hold on a second. I need to shade the color of Sophie because maybe you can confuse if I get in the same color. Okay, here we go. Okay, be careful of the yellow and answer that question. Okay, have you ever been to New York? New York? No, I never gone there. Have you? Yes, in fact, I just come back from there. I'm doing some consultancy. We're there and I spent at least six weeks there in the last year. That sounds fabulous. Have you gone up to the top of the Empire State Building? No, I haven't yet. I haven't driven the ferry to Ellis Island either. I just had to work so hard. So I had taken dinner at Thursdays and seen a Broadway show. Okay, if you have traveled to New York, you know where I'm talking about it. But pay attention about the present perfect sand that we are using here. I'm going to read it again in order that you can get familiar with the sounds. Have you ever been to New York? Have you ever been to New York? New York? No, I never gone there. Have you? Yes. In fact, I just come back from there. I'm doing some consultancy work there and I spent at least six weeks there in the last year. That sounds fabulous. Have you gone up to the top of the Empire State Building? No, I haven't yet. I haven't driven the ferry to Ellis Island either. I just had to work so hard. So I had taken dinner at Tardis and since a Broadway show. Oops, I'm sorry. Right here is driven, you know? Dry, draw, driven. The pronunciation is this word right here. Okay. Who wants to try? And later on, we are going to practice. Just let me know. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Are you there? Okay, who wants to read it? Only one, please. Hi, teacher. Okay, do it. Okay. I'm Kate, entonces. I'm Sophie. Okay. Have you ever been to New York? New York? I know ever. I know I never gone there. Have you? Yes, in fact, I've just come back from there. I'm doing some consultants work there and I've spent at least six weeks there in the last year. That sounds fabulous. Have you gone up to the top of the Empire State Building? No, I haven't yet. I haven't driven to the ferries to Ellis Island either. I just had to work so hard. So I have take dinner at Sardis and sing a Broadway show. Okay, thank you. Right here, I don't know if you can see the pointer of my mouse. 
in the last uh, intervention of scale, no, I haven't yet. I haven't driven the ferry to Ellis Island, Island, Island. Okay, teacher. Okay, repeat, Island. Island. Okay, driven. Driven. Just. Just. Okay, thank you. Somebody else. Somebody else. Thank you, teacher. Try. Okay, you're welcome, sir. Me Somebody teacher. else. Jenny. Okay, okay, okay. Do it now, please. Me teacher. Um, yes, I have. Have, what? have you ever been to New York? New York? No, I've never gone there. Have you? Yes, in fact, I just come back from there. I'm doing some consultancy work. Uh, there I spent at least six weeks there in the last week. That sounds fabulous. Fabulous. Have you gone up to the top on the Empire State Building? No, I haven't yet. I haven't driven the ferry to Ellis Island either. I just had to work so hard. So I have taken dinner at Star Starby and see and seen a railway show. Okay, I'm going to read it again. Have you ever been to New York? Listen, it's a question. Have you ever been to New York? New York, no, I, I never gone there. Have you? Yes, in fact, I just come back from there. I'm doing some consult, consultancy work there and I spent at least six weeks there in the last year. That sounds fabulous. Have you gone up to the top of the Empire State Building? No, I haven't yet. I haven't driven the ferry to Ellis Island either. I just had to work so hard. So I had taken dinner at Thursday and seen a Broadway show. This name is a, is a famous restaurant that is in Manhattan. I don't know if you have heard about this restaurant that is very famous. Okay, somebody else? And then we are going to the breakout room to practice. Me, teacher. Okay. Me. Okay, 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 do it. Okay. Um, I will be selfie. Okay, I am okay. <laughs> have you ever been to New York? New York? No, I've never gone there. Have you? Yes. In fact, I did just come back from there. I am doing some consultancy work there, and I spent at least six weeks during the last year. That sounds famous. Have you gone up to the top of the Empire State Building? No, I haven't yet. I haven't driven the ferry to Ellis Island either. I did just have to work so hard. So I have taken dinner at Starbucks and seen a Broadway show. A Broadway, Broadway show. Okay, any question about the conversation? No? Not teacher. No. Okay, later on we're gonna see the Okay, let us practice in a breakout room, please. Only 16. I don't know what is happening today, but I don't see some people here. Okay, let us practice. Try to do it in a natural way, please. At the moment that you are going to perform a conversation, so please try to do it in a natural way and try to 
switch the way that you speak in Spanish in order that you can sound in a better way in English. Here we go. Maria. Welcome, Rodrigo. Okay, remember that every time that we are going to the breakout room, if you don't have the conversation in your material, you need to make a screenshot in order to keep it. And that way you can do it. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here about the conversation. No. Okay, do you want me to share it in order that you can uh, perform it or not? Yes, please. Okay, here we go. Okay, who wants to do it? Uh, yes, sir. I had you ever been to New York? New York? No, I've never gone there. Have you? Yes, I've had. I have just I have just come back from there. 
I don't sound consulting. Were there I help spend I last last six weeks there in, in the last year. That sounds favorite. Have you gone up to the top of the Empire State Building? No, I have I haven't yet. I haven't driven the ferry to Ellis Island either. I have just come to work some hard. Don't I have take dinner uh sardines and sit a Broadway show? Okay. I need that you repeat the first question, please. The one that I start with K. Okay. I you have to. Okay, listen, listen. Have you ever, have you ever? Have you ever? Have you ever been to New York? Have, have you, you ever, ever have York. you ever been to New York? Have you, have did you been? No, 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 no. No me haga aquí un corte. Sino que have de you, un, have okay. you ever? Okay, I'm going to explain you this. Uh, as you can see, the pronunciation of this word is have. Have. Okay, and we are going to make a link to pronounce these two words at the same have time. You, have, have you, have you, have you. Have you, have you have, you have, ever, have, have you ever been to New York? Have you ever been to New York? Ah, okay, much better. Okay. Repeat Thank you. Now. Mm. Not yet, okay. Uh, what about here? I just come back from there. Repeat it, please. I just. I just come back from there. Okay, I just come back from there. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Somebody else. Maria Concepcion and I. Okay, do it, sir. Have you ever been to New York? New York? No, I never go there. Have you? Yes, I am fact have, have just come back from here and during some concerting border and have spent at least six weeks there in the last year. That sounds fabulous. Have you gone hung up to the top and on the Aspire State Building? No, I haven't yet. I haven't drive, driven to ferry to Ellis Islands either. I've just had to work so hard. Thought I have taken dinner at Sardin and seen a Broadway show. Okay, I right hear Carlos. I never gone there. I never gone there. I never go, gone there. Yeah, like a like, hey, right here. I never gone there. Have I you? never gone there. I never gone there. Have you? Have you? And what about this fabulous? Fabulous. 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 It sounds fabulous. Fabulous. It sounds fabulous. That sounds fabulous. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else? Somebody else, please. Mr. Chair, Tim Bryan. Okay, okay. Ready, Bryan? Of course. Okay. Have you ever been to New York? New York? No, I've never gone there. Have you? Yes. In fact, I just come back from there. I'm doing some conscious work there and live spin at the last six weeks during the last year. That sounds fabulous. Have you gone up to the top of the Empire State Building? No, I haven't yet. I haven't tried the ferry to Ellis Island either. Okay. I just had to work so hard 
to have taken dinner at Saturday and being a global show. Finish teacher. Okay, right here, dinner, dinner. 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 Okay. Thank you. Somebody else, please. Me, teacher. Do it, do it. <clears throat> Have you ever been to New York? New York, no, I never gone there. Have you? Yes, in fact, I've just come back from there. I'm doing some consultancy work there and have spent at that six weeks there in the last year. That sounds fabulous. Have you gone up to the top of the Empire State Building? No, I haven't yet. I haven't driven the ferry to Ellis Island either. I just have to work so hard. So I have taken dinner at Sardis and see a Broadway show. Only right here. Have you have you gone up? Have you gone up? Remember that the E it doesn't sound. Have you gone up to the top of the Empire State Building? Repeat. Have you gone up to the top of the Empire State Building? Okay, have you gone up to the top of the Empire State Building? Have you gone up to the top of the Empire State Building? Okay, thank you. And the last couple, please because we need to go forward to see something else. Somebody else want to do it now? Teacher. Hello? I, I did not practice. Ah, okay, but do you want to do it? I help you. What my help? What me help? Practice with I you. only. You can do it with somebody else who can help you, okay? I need this show. Okay, Let's start again, please. You are you are star side. Okay, okay. I have you, have you ever been to New York? <laughs> Sorry. I have you ever been to New York? New York? No, I've never gone there. Have you? Yes. In fact, I have just come back from there. I don't go, I don't some consulting work there. And I have said I last sit big there in the last year. That sounds fabulous. Have you gone? Have you gone up to the top of the Empire State Building? No, I haven't yet. I haven't driven the ferry to Ellis Island either. I haven't just come to work so hard. Dot, I haven't taken dinner at Sardines and Sid Broadway show. The moment that you ask the question, don't put uh, a pronoun right here. It, it is Sorry, just, teacher. Have, have you, yeah, have you ever been to New York? Have you have ever been? You, have you ever been to Mex Mexico? Have you ever have been to El Pital? Have you ever been to 
well, different places, you know. Have you ever been to Rio del Sapo in Perkin? Okay, different way how, how we can do this, okay? And later on, we are going to answer some questions that we have here. And then we need to, okay. Has Sophie been to New York? Give me an answer, please. Has Sophie been to New York? No. Has okay. Kate uh, driven the ferry? She Yes, teacher. Uh, how is the way to answer? Yes. Yes, she has or no, she hasn't. Yes, yes, yes she has. Uh, yes. yes, she has. Okay, has Kate taken dinner at Sardis? Yes, she, yes, has. she has. Yes, she has. Has Sophie seen a Broadway show? Yes, she has. Yes, she has. Yes. Mm. And number five no. has ah uh, be careful about yeah. that Sophie Sophie has no. Sophie asked about the Empire State Building? Yes, she yeah. has. Uh huh. Okay. Remember that the moment that we are going to talk about present perfect tenses, we need to know exactly. Uh, how to use the irregular pairs. I remember that I shared with you a list of there. And I'm going to show you right now with two. Okay, hold on, hold on. Irregular verbs, for example, is being gone. Yes, but the one that I show you, you had the pronunciation there. And I need that you take a look of it. We are going to read it only yes. Because uh, I got it here and you have it there also. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Okay, what I need is this. I need that all of you participate. You are going to read me one. Uh, for example, I can say be, was, where, been. The next one is going to read the second one and so on. Um, as soon as we finish, we are going to start again with the, the first person that is start reading here. Okay? Who wants to be the first one? Who want to start reading? Only one, please. Me, teacher. Deal. Okay, do it, sir, do it, sir. Okay, what we are going to do, uh, let me see. You are going to read two. It's okay. Okay. Be, was, were, being. Okay. Become, became, become. Okay, okay, right here. Uh, remember that we have these sounds. Yes, it looked like a that become, became, become. Okay, somebody else next. The next two, please. Me, teacher. Okay, do it. Begin, began, be, become. Okay, I need that you pay attention about this. Begin, began, begun. Okay. Begun. Okay. Okay, what about the next one? Bend. Bent. E bent. Okay, excellent. Next one, please. Need it is Okay, do it. Break. Broke, broken. Broken, okay. The next one? Bring, bra, broke. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay, do it. Choose, chose, chosen. 
Con. Okay. Game. What about, what about con. buying? Sí. Come, okay, come, okay. Somebody else? Um, Hello. Cut. Good, good, good. Cut. Cut, teacher. Ah, okay. Teacher y bye, ya lo dijeron. Mm, somebody missed it. Se okay. Bye. 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 Both. Both. Bye. But. But. Okay. What about this one? Do. Deal. Done. Okay. Somebody else? Done. I need that all I need that all of you participate reading, okay? Please. Da. Do da. Okay, next. Drink. Drink. Drunk. How do you say in the in the in the simple pass? Drink. Drink drunk. Okay. Thank you. Siguiente. Now, you, Jaira. Okay, read again right here. Now. Drive, drive. Drive, drive. No. drive. What about here? Uh, driven. Driven. Driven, okay. See, see it here. I don't know if you can see the pronunciation here. Three room. Okay. Three room. Okay. Next. Eat. Eat. Eating. Eating. Or eating, okay. Eating. Next one. Somebody else? Hey, oh. Feel. Nice right. fell. Fell. Fallen. Fallen, okay. Fine. Phone. Phone. Fly. Flu. Flow. Okay. I need to stop because I need to check up the attendance now. I'm sorry. I know that maybe you already know how to pronounce it. Yes, I'm just uh, refreshing your memory in order that you can keep it in mind. At the moment that you are going to create some sentences, you need to be sure which form you are going to use. In this case, we are talking about the present perfect stand. I mean that we need to use the, the past participles, the pair, okay? Ana Beatriz? Present. Ana Lilian Reyes? Carlos Alberto? Bautista? Present, teacher. Escobar? Present. Eh, Raquel Hernández. Present. Francis. Present teacher. Ah, apareció Francis. Galileo no está. Yes, Jonathan. Here. Present. Rodrigo. Present teacher. Eso. Juan Carlos Rivas. Laura. Present teacher. Lorena Beatriz. No. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. I'm here. Mayra Veralice. It's not here, Mayra. Miguel Ángel Mendoza. Uh, 
Saira Marleni. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Ah, aquí está. Diego. Present teacher. And Brian. Present. Okay, welcome. Okay, do you want me to show again the list or do you consider that you already know how to pronounce this? I'm doing this because uh, sometimes uh, we have some doubts. And for that reason, you can see the pronunciation is there. It's really easy in order that you can learn it by her, okay? But try to learn in this way, be what we are being. And that way, you know that the first one is the pay form. And the second one is the simple pass, and the third one is the past participle that we are going to use when we uh, talk about present. Uh, perfect, okay? Any questions so far from here? Do you want that we can continue reading the list or we can switch to another activity if you manage already? It's up to you. No? Tell me. Continue the list. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Si no me dicen, no. Pues yo cambio, tengo infinidad de actividades que hacer. It's up to you. If you don't want to do it, okay, I can switch the activity. But if you want to continue reading, okay, we can we can continue. This list is really helpful and I use it in every single play that I work. In that way, people can understand. These are the most common English verb, irregular English verb. Okay, who wants to continue? Me teacher. Okay, let me see which one was the last one. I'm not pretty sure about this. Okay. Fly. fly. Yeah, fly, right here, okay. Oh, now you are, you are going to be able to read three different pair, okay? Do it. Who wants to start, Carlos? Okay. Okay, do it, sir. Fly, blue, Flow. Flown, okay. Forget, forgot, forgotten. Excellent. Get, got, gotten. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Give, give, gave, gave. 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 Giving. Okay, be careful with this. Gave. 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 Okay. No gave. Oh, gave. Gave. Okay. Continue. Go. Went. Gay. Gone. Gun, gun, gun. Okay, continue. Have, have, have. Here, her, heard. Uh, heart, heart. Heart. Okay, next. Keep. 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 Next, please. No. 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 Now. Now. Okay. Leave, left, 
left land 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 light lay lane lose lost lost make made made mean meant meant meet met met put 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 read 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 run ran ran say said said see so seen sell soul soul send sent send show showed showed shown i'm going to repeat this show show shown shot 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 let me move it a little bit Okay, shot, 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 uh, sing, sang, sung, sit, set, set, sleep, slept, slept, speak, spoke, spoken, span, 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 stand, stood, stood, swim, swim, swam, take, took, taken, teach, taught, taught, Tail, tall, tall, think, thought, thought, understand, understood, understood, way, walk, walking, where, worm, worm, win, one, one, right, row, written. Okay, remember that uh, at the moment that you are going to create sentences um, in present. In present perfect, you are going to use the past participle of the verb. For example, I could say I had been working in Mexico for four years. This is an example. Try to keep in mind, and we are going to make a, a review about the, the present perfect form. Maybe you already know, but we need to make a review also. And before to do that, we are going to read this uh, paragraph. Okay. I'm going to read it. Who is Bill Gates? Bill Gates is one of the richest and most successful business executives in the world. Millions of people have used his computer program for the past three decades. Bill Gates has always loved working with computer. In fact, he has programmed computers in his early teens. He has been the CEO of Microsoft Corporation since 1975. Since then, Bill Gates has written several books and has given billions of dollars to school. For the last seven years, he and his wife, Melinda, had donated a substantial amount of money to organization working in global health. Okay, I invite you to read it and later on you are going to read it too, but I need that all of you participate. In order that you can fall asleep, so please try to interact in the class because I don't want only the only one that uh, is gonna be speaking here. I need that you do it too. But the problem is that when I'm presenting, it's difficult for me to see all your faces. For that reason, you have to tell me, me, teacher, I would like to read it, and you are going to read it, okay? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, do it. Bill Gates is one of the richest and most successful business executives in the world. Millions of people have used his sample program for the past three decades. Okay, hold on there, hold on there. Espera un momento. I'm going to read again. Bill Gates is one of the richest and most successful business 
executive in the world. Millions of people have used his computer programs for the past three decades. Okay. Okay. Continue. Bill Gates has always loved working with computers. In fact, he has programmed computer science his early teams. Okay, hold on there. Bill Gates has always loved. We never pronounce the E D. Yeah. We never pronounce it. We sometimes tend to produce the sound like T or D and sometimes ED. But never, you, you are not going to say love it. No, load. Love. He has always loved working with computer. In fact, he has programmed computer since his early teens. Read again, please. Okay. I've always loved working in computers. In fact, he has programmed computers since his early teens. Okay, in the last paragraph, please. He has been the CEO of Microsoft Corporation since 1975. Since then, Bill Gates has written several books and has given billions of dollars to schools. For the last several years, years, he and his wife Melinda have done it a substantial amount of money to organizations working in a global. Uh -huh. Okay. Do you remember that we already have started the pronunciation of this verb? What is the presence of this verb? Right. Right. Okay. The simple past is. Right. Right. The simple past. Right. And, and the past participle. Written. Ah, Written. Okay. Written. Okay. I need that you pay attention, please. Bill Gay has written several books and has given billions of dollars to school. For the last several years, he and his wife, Melinda, had donated. Remember, this is a regular bear. When this bear ends in T-O-D, we pronounce it like E-D, donated, okay, invited. Okay, thank you. Somebody else want to read it? De los que no han participado y que se me están durmiendo, por favor, I need that you read it. My teacher. Okay. Diego. Okay, Diego. Bill Gates is one of the richest and most successful business executives in the world. Millions oh. of people have used his computer programs for the past three de decades. Okay, only only right here. I used had used his computer programs. Computer programs. Okay, okay. Continue. Bill Gates has always loved working with computers. In fact, he has programmed computers since his early teens. Ah, oh, program. 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 Sorry. Program. Okay. Okay. Continue in the third paragraph, please. Okay. He has been the CEO of Microsoft Corporation since 1975. Okay. Since then, Will, Bill Gates has written several books and has given billions of dollars to school for the last several years. He and his wife, Melinda, have donated a substantial amount of money to organization working in global health. Do you remember what I said about this verb? Mm, donate. And what about the ED sound? Donate it. Donate it. Donate it. Donate it. 
Ok, en español le voy a explicar esto rapidito. Cuando un verbo irregular termina en un sonido que sea T o T, uh, we are going to pronounce it like ED. Ok, in this case it's donated, donated. Do you remember that rule? ¿Se recuerdan de esa regla? Sí. Hello. A little bit. Okay, somebody else. The last one, because we need to study some uh, structures. Okay, do it, do it, do it, do it. Bill Gates is one of the richest and most successful business executives in the world. Millions of people have used his computer program for the past three de decades. Bill Gates. Okay, right here only uh, have used have used his computer. Used. Used. With used. T. With T. Used. Used. Okay, continue. Bill Gates has always loved working with computers. In fact, he has programmed a computer since his early teens. Okay, uh, repeating again, right here in these cases, you are not going to read it the ED, right here. El ED va a sonar solamente cuando el verbo sea irregular y termine en un sonido que sea T o que sea un sonido D. Así. Desired, desired. De lo contrario, it's not going to sound, ¿ok? Load, only load. Load, load. Load. Okay, continue, please. He has been the CEO of Microsoft Corporation since 1975. Since then, Bill Gates has written several books and has given billions of dollars to a school. For the last several years, he and his wife, Melinda, have donated a substan substantial amount of money to organization working in global health. Okay, in global health, okay. Um, what I need is that you identify the present perfect expression in the reading. Is that possible for you to do it? No? Yes. Okay. Let me see if you have it. Okay, you got it there. You can make a screenshot if you want in order, in order that you have it. Because it's really important that you know how to use it in a paragraph or maybe in a conversation too. Okay, let us go on. Okay, the present perfect form with form of have plus the past participle. Bill Gay has been the CEO since 1975. The explanation is here. This is the form of the verb have, and the past participle is been. Many people have used Microsoft program. Past participle can be regular or irregular. The regular form of the past participle is they form of the verb plus T or ED. That is what I was explaining to you. You already know what is the pay form of the pair, right? And you are sometimes you are going to use D or ED. 
Maybe we have some example here. For example, Gay has always loved working with computer. Talking about regular bird. And there are many irregular past participles like uh, Gay has been the CEOs in 1975 or he and his wife had given a lot of money to school. You already know what I'm talking about, it, okay? Okay, not this common irregular past participle. Write, written, give, given, be, been, see, seen, uh, read, read, do, and done. Okay, para los que se están durmiendo, I need that you create one sentence using one past participle that is given there and tell me the sentence. Only one sentence you can create using one of those verbs. Who wants to do it? Hello? Any verb from that list? You can choose the, the, the one that you prefer. Uh, okay, for example, I have seen the football match or the football game. Mm -hmm. Okay, in that way, sometimes we need to we need to be careful about the very watch. I have watch, all, all the pen for the situation where you are going to talk about, okay? Okay. But also you can see I have seen the new material. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Hello, hello. This form of have plus verb. It's okay. Yes, but, but what I need is that you create a sentence. Uh, you, uh, she has written a novel. Okay, she has written a novel. Okay, and now it's a bestseller. Thank you. Somebody else, please. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, my wally has been installed. Oh, okay, has been installed. Okay. Okay, let us see what do we have in the next. Okay, use the present prefix to talk about something that began in the past and continues into the present and may continue into the future. For example, Bill Gates has been CEO of Microsoft since 1975. Right here is the past, it is now, and maybe he can continue in the future. That is the reason why we use present perfect. About something that began in the past, continues into the present, and may continue into the future. Moving this way. Okay. And also right here we have us has been, you know, you can see the, the periods of time that we are talking about. And we use the present perfect with seen plus point in time to show when something start, started. Okay, Bill Gay had written several books since 1975. As you can see here, has written several books during this time. For the reason we are using the present perfect tense. Scene can also introduce a time close. Gay has programmed computers since he was 13 years old. It is called a time close. And also, okay, this is a practice. Change the sentence to present perfect and add the scene phrase in the parentheses 
and delete any past tense time phrases. Is that possible that you can do it? For example, Maria was in the garden yesterday. How can you tell me? Only one, please, only one can resolve. Maria has been in the garden since 9 a.m. Okay. Bingo, sir. Maria has been in the garden since 9 a.m. Okay. That showed me that you know what we are talking about. It. What about, uh, okay, 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 okay. What about the third one? Bill Gay wrote many emails yesterday. How we can say it? Bill, Bill Gates has, has gre written, 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 written many emails yesterday. Now, what about the word since 1975? Oh, no, sorry. Sign, sign 19. Seventy-five. Ah, since we pronounce since. Since, since nineteen seventy-five. Ah, okay. What about number two? Somebody else is. They has been a lot of books to a school since 1990. Mm, okay, could you repeat it again? They has been. A lot they? Of they? Have, have been. Why been? If the verb that we have here is gay. Sorry, sorry. They have given a lot of books to a school since 1990. Ah, but what is the past participle of gave? Because this is a this is a simple past. But what is the 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 past participle that verb of give? Given. Ah, they had given. Okay. They have given a lot of books to a school since 1990. Ah, okay. Thank you. Number three. I have seen many friends since I come home. Since? Since? I come home. Ah, okay. Busquemos en la lista cómo se pronuncia este, que es pasado. Came. Came, came. Since I? Came home. Ah, ok. Recuerden que ustedes me dijeron que les corrigiera así, así es que yo así lo estoy haciendo. Yes, right. Bien, teacher. ¿Está sí. bien? Así está yes. perfecto, sí, sí. Ah, ok. Por les digo esto porque en español sí. se lo puede decir. Porque en un grupo alguien se molestó y después somebody called my attention about that. For that reason, I stopped doing that. But if you say that is right, okay, I can go continue the, that way. Okay, number four. My sister has read many articles since last August. Okay, nice. Brigades. Thank you. Number five. Hello. Somebody else? Me teacher. Ah, okay. My friend has worked at a pizza place signs in, I don't know how to say it. 2003. When, what? Wait, what? 2003. Ah, 2003. Yeah. 
Yeah. Twenty or two thousand trees. Yeah, but 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 I would like that you keep in mind the way how to pronounce this word since. Since. Yeah. No sign. Okay. Since two thousand three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see the time that we have here. Okay, here we go. Check it out. Check it out if you have it in the right way. They have given a lot of book to schools since 1990. I have seen many friends since I came here, came home. My sister has read many articles since last August. And the last one, my friend has wear at Pixar Place since 2003. Okay, you for a length of time to show how long something, well, I guess uh, it is enough about this because, uh, well, maybe later on I can explain you more with more detail about this. Only yes, I want to mention the difference between sin and fork in order that you can have an idea. We are going to use scenes plus the point in time. Five o'clock, yesterday, last summer, 1996, he was a child. I'm going to say since five o'clock, since yesterday, since last summer, and so on. And four, we are going to use it for Lenos time, for 10 minutes, for today, for three decades, for many years, for a long time. Okay, it is possible that you can identify the difference between sin and four? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, let me see the time that we have. Okay, I got some example here. Bill Gates has been married to Melinda French Gates. How can I use a scene of work? Since. 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 Uh huh, okay. Bingo. What about number one? It's already uh, answered, okay? Computer have been used in school for more than a decade. What about the second one? What can you tell me? I have had a computer in my office. Since. Since so far? Since. Since. Okay, what about number three? Many, or, many students have worked for, for, with for, computer for many, for. for many years. Okay, number four. four. My computer hasn't given me any problems. For, for, for last year. Really? That's true? Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay, let me see. Chance. The last opportunity that you switch your answer, okay? Has given me a problem last year. Since last year. Okay. I guess it's enough of all. I don't know if you have any question about present perfect, because remember that we need to study uh, we were talking about how to reduce the time clause. Do you remember that? ¿Se recuerdan o no se recuerdan? The next topic that we study. Okay, I'm going to show you. Yes, that, teacher. In order that you keep in mind, okay? Hold on a second. I need to show you what I'm talking about. Remember that this is a review that we are making. But we need to keep it in mind in order that you can resolve the exercises that I'm going to show you. I'm talking about this. How do you reduce adverb clauses of time? Remember what I told you? 
to reduce an advert close to a phrase. Uh, we are going to eliminate the subject in the advert close. If the clause has a form of the verb be, we are going to eliminate it. And if the clause has any other verb different from be, we are going to add a -G. I don't know if you have any questions so far for this. I need to share with you some exercise. I'm going to send you in the WhatsApp group in order that you can give me an answer. I'm going to stop chatting. And you are going to have time to solve it. And later on, we are going to talk about it. only just 10 questions, no more than 10. And you are going to do it by yourself. No cheating is allowed. No se vale la copia. I'm going to send you in the WhatsApp group right now. Okay, you have it there. Um, you can start answering it. Just try to remember, you are going to choose the right option. If you have any question, you can ask me. What you are going to do is just to combine the two sentences into one sentence using the correct reduce advert close. And you have an example there. I was playing tennis later. I called my mother as a playing tennis. I call my mom. Okay. Try to do it by yourself. And later on, we are going to compare your answer in order to be sure if you know how to do it. Okay. Remember, this is just an exercise. It's not an evaluation. Don't worry about it. But try to solve it now, please. I guess that you can write on it.
try to remember what we have started about this topic, okay? And don't worry about it. If you already finished, just let me know. Just tell me, take your time. It's just an exercise, it's not an evaluation. Don't worry about it. And later on, we are going to compare your answer, okay? Okay, I finished. It's a... Okay, okay. Was easy to do it, Santos, for you? How do you feel it? I only have a question about one. I'm not sure about it. the number eight. Ah, okay. That's the ones that I was thinking. Yeah, you have some doubts about it, okay? The number eight. Ah, okay. Later on, we are going to compare the answer that you have with the one that I have. Let me see why. Number eight. Uh huh, I got it. Do you remember that I explained the use of two words? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, try to keep in mind and, and try to relate it with the sentence that you are talking about. It. And that way you are going to have a, a bright idea. Okay, I'm going to give you a hand because I see some faces of worries, you know. Recuerden que es un ejercicio, no se preocupen, los veo algunos afligidos. Solo son 10 preguntas. 
we are going to solve it each other. Don't worry about it. May I start showing you the answer? Okay, I'm going to read you the answer that I have here in order that you can compare. Or maybe you can tell me. Okay, in a volunteer way, you are going to tell me who wants to resolve the number one. After playing basketball for two hours, they went home. Ah, okay. After playing basketball for two hours, they went home. Okay, nice. Number two. Before reading your AC, I noticed a lot of mistakes. Ah, okay. Okay, number two, you say that is uh, before reading your essay. Somebody else have it in the different way? I have a teacher, your essay. While Excuse reading me? your essay, I, not, I noticed a lot of mistakes. Ah, okay. Much better. While... Do you know what is the meaning of that word? While? Mientras. Mientras. Ah, okay. It's difficult that before you read it, you can you can see a lot of mistakes in the essay. You know, you need to read it in order to identify the, the mistakes. For that reason, the, the right answer is while reading your essay, I notice a lot of mistakes. Okay, number three. Number three. Before you know what wanting to miss my fleet, I set my alarm clock for 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. mm, before now uh, wanting to miss my flight, It doesn't, it doesn't make sense of the sentence. Somebody else, please. My teacher. Okay, tell not, me. Not wanting to miss a flight. I said not my alarm clock for 6 a.m. Okay, bingo. Not wanting to miss my flight. I say my alarm. I said my alarm clock for 6 a.m. Okay. Number four. Number four, please. After, After coming you... here, you were sad. Ah, okay. Is it somebody else? Before coming here. Ah, okay. Before if, coming here. Before. Before coming here, you were sad because you remember that here we are talking about the simple past here, right here. You were sad. Okay. Are you taking note about the answer? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, number five. Who wants to read it? Number five. Waiting for the bus, I saw a cat. Ah, waiting for the bus. Waiting for the bus, I saw a cat. Okay, that is the right answer. Next one, number six, please. Who wants to read it? Only one. Okay, go ahead. While returning from work, 
she noticed that the front door has was open. Mm, read again. While returning from work, she noticed that the front door was open. Okay, somebody else. Before the journey from work, from work. Before returning from work, she noticed that the front door was open. Ah, okay. Somebody else have it in a different way. Open return. Huh? Open return from work. Okay. But which one is the right one? Upon teacher. It's upon returning from work. Okay. okay. Okay, that is the right one. Seven. Who wants to read it? Number seven. After returning from work, she got stuck in traffic. Mm, why are you using after? It's while teacher. Ah, while okay. returning from why returning. Why returning from work? Okay. Number eight. The one that is waiting, Santos. Since moving here, I have met many great people. Okay, exactly. Since moving here. I have met many great people. Okay, number nine. Number nine. Why are you being a perfectionist? He noticed all the law, all the flaws, I guess. Do you consider that it's right use while? No, teacher. Finish it. Okay. Read. Somebody else wants to read it? No, teacher. Finishing his homework. Ah, you didn't finish. Being finishing his homework. Being a perfect. Being. Ah, being a perfectionist. I have seen that. He noticed all the flows. Okay. And the last one? Number 10. I was talking about number nine. After finish his homework, then he started to play video games. Okay, that's right. Okay, thank you very much. And now you can uh, evaluate yourselves. How many right one do you got out of 10? If you want, you can share with me. If you don't want to tell me, don't worry about it. Somebody wants to tell me? I got eight out of 10. Eight out of 10, okay, nice, nice. Somebody else? Uh, I, got, I got nine of 10. Nine out of 10? Yes. Okay, patient, somebody else? I got seven. Seven out of 10, two, two. Yes. Okay. Two teachers, seven. I got five. Five out of 10? Yes. Okay, but I consider that after the exercise, now you understand better the topic. That is the, mon uh, the most important thing. After this exercise, you clarify your idea how to, to do it, okay? That is the main purpose. Remember, I told you, it's not an evaluation, it's just an exercise. No es una evaluación, es, es un ejercicio. Relax, take it easy, okay? Okay, teacher. Pero de esa manera medimos 
nos estamos midiendo, si realmente estamos comprendiendo los temas. Si no lo habíamos comprendido, pues cuando ya di las respuestas debieron ahí, eh, ir corrigiendo. Ah, ¿y por qué pasó esto? Y buscar la razón. Ok. Let me check out the attendance now because we are uh, two minutes after 10, I guess. Ok, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. No apareció. Bautista. Present teacher. Escobar. Present. Francis. Present teacher. Francis, now today is your turn to spend 10 minutes asking questions. I don't know. No, not sir. Huh? Other day. Other day. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. It is a sign for today. It's up to mm. you. Okay, Jose Galileo is not here. Ah, uh, Jonathan. Present, Mr. Mr. Okay, uh, Hernandez. Rodrigo. Present, Mr. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan Carlos Rivas. Laura. Lorena Beatriz. María Concepción. Present. Eh, María Elena. Present. Mayra. Miguel Ángel. Zaira. Present. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. Present teacher. Yesenia. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. Brian. Present teacher. So I only had a doubt, I only have one doubt. Me pareció haber visto a Juan Carlos. But I'm not pretty sure about that. Teacher, I'm here. I forgot uh, open my Claudia. <laughs> Claudia, my goodness. I do really sorry. <laughs> Let me see where is your name. Claudia Raquel. No, oh, but I got it here. I already okay. check it. I already check it. Okay. I apologize for that. Okay. Maybe because I'm I feel a little tired too, like you. I've been working the whole day, you know. Okay, thank you very much. Tomorrow we are going to continue with the material because today uh, this is the, the class number five where we had to make a review. And uh, tomorrow we are going to continue with the material. I hope to see you then. And remember the time that is assigned for you, you can ask questions and everything that you understand. I know sometimes maybe you are really busy doing something else, but it's up to you. But in my case, I had to follow rules. Okay, thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. It was tomorrow. a pleasure Good to night. see you. Good night, teacher. Good night, bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night. Hello, Claudia. Hola. How are you, Claudia? I'm good. <laughs>
Okay. Well, well, was your day easy or difficult today? Mm -hmm. It was a good day. Okay. Was no, yeah, not busy. <laughs> not busy. Okay. No. Well, not uh, busy. Okay, I don't know if you have any questions so far from here about uh, some topic. You can use the time that the lady assigned. Uh, it doesn't want to use it. Um, this topic, the others close. Ah, ah, okay. <laughs> Other okay. friends close. Uh, I. I. Okay. I don't my homework and I got to incorrect phrase. <laughs> oh, only only two correct? No, only, no, I have two incorrect. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, which, I'll show which, you. Which, which number, just tell me, and I'm going, ah, to tell, okay. I'm going to tell you the reason why. Okay, the three and the five. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, I want to know. I need to show you. I correct them, okay, but number, I think no, no show. Not number Always. three. Uh huh. Three. Okay. And uh, the homework in the platform. Ah, you are talking about the the platform, not not the. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I got confused. Okay, hold on there. I don't know if you have it. If you can show me, it's gonna be oh, great. okay. Yes. And I'm gonna help you. Okay. Uh, here. And the first sound, I I know that I, I have oh, okay. I have incorrect. Then I try to correct, but okay. I think uh, always show incorrect. Oh, I don't know. If okay. Always. Ah, uh -huh. I don't know if it's it the four. <laughs> no, it's okay, go the back. same. Uh -huh. Okay, go back again, please. Hold on there. Let me see why I'm waiting in college. Okay, move a little bit. I stayed with my roommate. Mm -hmm. It's the same. Do you want a spring break? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, no, if they're El Inicio. Okay, right here, uh, you need to be careful mm -hmm. about the bird. Mm -hmm. Tiene que tener cuidado con el verbo. Si usted observa el verbo que está arriba con el que tiene ahí, uh -huh. hay algo que no coincide. No sé si me capta la idea que le estoy dando. Ajá. Pero, ¿cómo debería de ser entonces que ahí sí me confundí? Sí, porque si usted observa away con away, uh -huh. it's not the same. Uh -huh. No tienen relación el, lo, los verbos. Uh -huh. Ok, I, I'm going to tell you some ideas. Ok, what about the number five? What happened uh, there? Hard. Although he was hurt, Jacques managed to smile. Mm -hmm. Okay, always hurting. Mm -hmm. Jacques managed to smile. Okay, remember that uh, before what we need to do is just to know exactly if we have the same subject. Si tenemos el mismo sujeto, ¿qué es lo que hacemos? Uh -huh. 
se cambia. Ah, ok, entonces, pero en este mm. caso, se cambia en la, en la primera, ¿cierto? Uh -huh. Okay, how can I explain? Oh, okay, I already see it. How do you have it? Okay, stop chatting. I'm going to give some tips how to solve this. Okay, thanks. Okay, let me see where I have it here. To see. Okay, hold on. I need to see it here. I need to tell you what is the reason why it's not working in the right way. Here. This is section number? Um, 1.5. 1.5. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on a second, please. Mm -hmm. 1.5. Okay, let me see what's happened there. Number three, you say, right? Yes, three and five. Okay. I, what I told you is that uh, you need to be careful about the verb. Tiene que tener cuidado con el verbo. Because when we have a, a P form, what we do is just that we eliminate it. Lo que hacemos en una oración cuando tenemos una forma del B es que simplemente mm -hmm. la eliminamos y ahí no tenemos que hacer más. No sé si me comprendió. Me, bueno, me estaba recordando con los ejemplos de ahora que ponían B, pero con, con ING. Sí, pero en ese caso fue Ajá. por... por uh, por la forma y no, y no estaba uh -huh. en sí eh, el, la parte del, del, ¿cómo le digo? Siendo usada con, 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 o en, conjugada en otras palabras. Pero en este caso, como usted tiene una forma del B, lo que tiene que hacer uh -huh. es eliminar la forma del B junto con el pronombre y se queda así. ¿Me comprendió? So... Sería only while away in college. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you, what you need to drop out is uh, uh -huh. the, the personal pronoun and the before. That is in the, in the, in the number three and the number five. It is the same. It is the same, the same. Do you want to show me again? And I'm going to point you there. My number three. Okay. Well, it's a say while away in college. Okay, okay. Try try to try to do it in that way and check it. Try to check it in that way. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you got it. What okay. is the reason why? Okay. ¿Sabe la razón? Y, ¿Sí? Es que sí me estaba confundiendo bastante con esto. De... Ajá. Ajá. Saying you just eliminate. Ok. Ok, that's it. Ok. Put in your pocket, put in your pockets. Écheselo a la bolsita para que <risa> ya le quede eh, el conocimiento ahí. Ok. Ok. Está bien.
y fue buena idea que, que se quedara para verlo, porque así comprende más. Sí. Sí, fíjese que lo que sucede es que a las personas a veces eh, tienen asignado su tiempo y no lo aprovechan. Mm. Y siempre hay algo que preguntar. Yo comprendo que salimos tarde de, de, de un trabajo y que tenemos cosas que hacer. Pero a veces toca así. Ni modo, cada quien sabe cómo se sacrifica, ¿no? Sí. A veces eh, me ha tocado atender personas que tienen niños en brazos a esta hora y me dicen, no, pero es que explíqueme. Se le ve el esfuerzo que tiene. Sí. ¿Sí? Pero esto así es, we know, and I'm here to, to help you. If you ask me to help, I can help you, yeah? Okay. No, no, no matter the time, but, but I need to resolve in order that you can understand what I'm explaining. Y yo okay. trato por todos los medios de, de que me comprendan qué es lo que trato de, de explicarles para que al final me, me, me entiendan muy bien. Mm -hmm. y, el, y el resultado de que si estamos siguiendo bien es resultados de, de los ejercicios que estamos haciendo, porque si no fuese así, todos salieran con dos buenas nada más y yo di todas las preguntas ok Claudia, thank you to stay with okay. me and I hope to see you tomorrow, ok yes, take a rest drink a lot of liquids and, <laughs> yes it's, yes. Really, it's really important yes. ok I don't know if you have another question or does it? Uh, ah, okay. Uh, in the book, in page 15, well, uh, hay un ejemplo, el number three is the same, right? Say, Andrew kept a message me while he was in a video conference about the prototype for the pro. Entonces, la frase sería, Andrew kept the messaging while in a video conference. I just eliminated he was. You're talking about the answer, right? Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> let, let me check it. Yeah, let me check it. Because I need to be sure of what I'm saying. Day 16, you said. Uh -huh. Number three. Number three? Yes. Okay. Let me see. Andrew kept text messaging uh -huh. while in the video conference about the prototype for the new product. Uh -huh. He was, is eliminated. Okay. Yes. Okay. That, 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 that is clear, the example. Okay. 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 I got it. Excellent, excellent, because you keep in mind mm -hmm. even the number of the page where you saw the other <laughs> side. That is, you are yes. so, you are so smart. <laughs> yes, I, I write, let you say the question. Oh, okay, okay, excellent, okay. <laughs> okay, that's Sorry. it? Yeah, that's all. Okay, that's all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye bye. Take care. <laughs> good night. Okay, good night. Bye.